<laughs> my god. Okay, what's up, my little quad little dinglers? Um, <clears throat> we back. Um, so I've been gone for the past five days. I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of school drama's been happening. But the thing is, if you want to know about that, um, later, I promise, I promise to on my life, I promise on my life, I'll post this, like, tomorrow, I, tomorrow, tomorrow, as in Thursday, tomorrow, I promise, technically it's midnight, so today I will post it, today I will post it, but just not right now, because it's later midnight, but you know what I mean, basically, in the Steve Harrington Exoster that I told you I'd post four days ago, I will post it today, today, but anyway, because that explains why I've been gone and what's been happening. Well, the intro explains what's been happening. So if you want to stick around for that, then stick around for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, anyway. So, yeah. Um. So this was a request I got by someone. I do not remember her name. Um. So, yeah. I, I guess this is the video. I, I don't really know. I guess. I'm really fucking tired. Like, holy shit. Okay, so let's set the scene. So let's just say that you have been kind of like, you know, you haven't been feeling your best. Like, you've been dizzy, you've been like a lot more tired than usual, and you've been feeling super lightheaded. Like, you haven't been drinking that much water, but a little, you know, just a little bit, just a tad. And, you know, you're starting to get concerned and you don't know what's happening with you. And you're, like, just always tired, feeling dizzy, feeling nauseous, like, headed, all of that stuff. And you're, you're confused. They're just confused. So, one day at school, something happens. Okay, so I have math. Um, next period. Robin, what do you have? I have history. Damn it. That, that's, that's pretty much even worse. History is worse than, worse than math. If I'm being honest, once you, like, really know math, it's kind of fun. I don't even know who you are anymore. But history is terrible. But math is worse. No, history is the worst. Okay, Steve? History is the worst. No, I'm, I'm telling you right now, Robin, math is just, ugh. Okay, Steve, just shut up about math. It's not that bad. See, thank you. Even the listener agrees math isn't that bad. Whatever. You guys are just nerds. <laughs> okay, it's not because you're smarter than me. Shut up. <laughs> I think it might be because we're smarter than you. Just a little bit. Oh my god, please. Honestly, Steve, I've seen more brains in a bowl of soup. Oh, wow, rude. I know. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll see you guys later. Oh, see ya. <laughs> she can be really mean sometimes. <laughs> you okay? You sure? You look a bit pale. Like you're sick or something. Right. Um, do you want me to walk you there, or you- No? Okay. You sure you're gonna manage? So sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Just kind of worrying about one of my closest friends. Just kind of concerning, but you sure you'll be okay? Okay. Jesus, I'm done. See you later, okay? So, Steve walks away to his next class, which is obviously math. And you're leaning your head against your locker, and you're taking deep breaths, because you do not feel good at all but you don't want anyone to notice it and you get scared by a certain someone <laughs> hey sorry um was my intention to scare you that badly just a little bit to make you jump <laughs> you okay you sure you look terrible and i mean that in like a sick kind of way not in like a general way you know what i mean no, listener, sweetheart, you're not okay. No, you're pale, and you're burning up really bad. Listener, you're not okay. What's going on with you? You've been like this all week. You've been tired a lot recently. You fell asleep in class. 
it's not like you. You've been drinking water, at least, like, something to keep you, you know, healthy. Listener, you listening to me? Listener? What? what? Listener. 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 Listener, can you hear me? Listener. Listener, wake up. Listener. Listener, wake up. Oh, shit. So let's just say, um, Eddie was on the other side of the lockers when he heard you, Steve, and Robin talking about what classes you have. So he immediately goes to Steve's math class and asks for Steve. So if we take at sorry, um, can I borrow Steve for a second? <sighs> Mr. Munson, this better be appropriate. It is, um, I promise it's like really urgent. Um, can I just borrow him for like three minutes? Hurry up. Harrington, you can leave. Thank you so much. What is this about? It's listener, just come on. What happened to her? I don't know. She just fainted, like, right in my arms. What are you talking about? She fainted. I don't know, Steve. She just fainted, like, right there. So you left her on the floor? I know what to do, okay? I had to get help or something. Oh, shit. You tried waking her? No, I just left her there. I thought she was taking a nap. Yes, I tried waking her. You stupid. I'm sorry, I'm just, like, surprised, shocked. I don't know what it is. I mean, she looked super pale, like, before I left her glass. Well, why didn't you stay with her? Well, I wanted to, but she wouldn't let me walk her to her next period. God, you're an idiot, Steve. I'm sorry, don't put this on me. <sighs> you're right, I'm sorry. I'm just, like, kind of stressed out right now. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. We took in the nurse. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't I think of that? It's because you're putting too much pressure on yourself, man. You need to calm down. Okay. Okay, um... I'll grab her. Um, you can go back to class if you want. Do not even back to class. I know a listener is passed out. Fine. Okay, fine. Let's just go. Eddie picks you up bridal style with Steve following behind you guys as they both run to the nurse's office. Oh my god, what's happened here? Nurse, we really need your help. Um, she's passed out. Like, really just blacked out. Okay, um, Mr. Munson, I'm gonna need to calm down for me, okay? Um, okay, just lay her down here, and we'll say what's wrong with her. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna need you both to leave for a minute. What, seriously? You can help us leave. Mr. Munson, I'm not kidding around here, nurse. Like, I have to be here with her. Eddie, just let it go, okay? No, Steve, don't tell me what to do. Just, I need you to leave for just two minutes. That's all I ask, two minutes. Fine, dear nurse bullshit, just... Please, hurry up. I'm so sorry about him. He's really stressed out right now. I get it. I mean, having your girlfriend pass out right before your eyes can be scary. Yeah. Um, I'll check on him. Thank you, Mr. Harrington. Dude, you need to stop stressing out. How can I stop stressing out, Steve? My girlfriend is in there and she's blacked out. And I don't know what is wrong with her. And I just don't, well, I don't know why she wouldn't tell me. Like, why she didn't tell you, Robin, or Nick? You're just someone. Like, what is going on with her, Steve? I don't know what's going on with her, man, okay? Like, if, if I did, I'd obviously tell you. <sighs> Look, you need to calm down, okay? At least ask, like, the nurse to send you home or something, because you're way too, like, you know, to be here. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're literally stressed out. You're literally pacing back and forth i'm fine dude the more i say you're fine just gets you even more mad i can see the aggression and stress in your eyes right now and it is not a good look for you steve just <sighs> no maybe you're right i know i'm right because you look awful right now thanks look i'm not saying that in a bad way but you need to calm down. Seriously. You know that, well, listener knows that she wouldn't want this for you right now. She would want you to stay calm. She would want you to be all worked up. Okay? Do you need to relax, okay? 
Just breathe. Take a deep breath or two. Just calm down, the listener. This is what she would want. She wouldn't be stressing out just because she passed out. I mean, if she was sick, she might have saw it coming. I mean, she was, like, you know, kind of tripping over herself sometimes and feeling a little lightheaded. She said, she told this to you? Yeah, I mean, only sometimes when she felt really bad. Like, she felt nauseous and lightheaded and dizzy and really tired all the time. So she went to you and not me. Look, that's not the point, Eddie. You need to calm down. <sighs> Look, I've known Lister longer than you, okay? And if I know anything about that girl, that she is very secretive. And if I know anything about her love for you, she would never want to tell you. Because she wouldn't want to scare you. Because she knew you'd react like this. All freaked out. What well, even freaked out that she wouldn't tell me? Because for all I know, she could have just died right in my arms just then. And I would know nothing about it. Okay, look, I know it seems bad, but, like, at least she kind of told me. She didn't tell me, like, what was causing it. She even told me that, like, with any sort of, like, worry. She kind of just spurred it out, looking fine all the time. What's that supposed to mean? Is that, like, she would be like, uh, yeah, I'm just feeling kind of, um, nauseous right now. I might not tag along. That kind of thing. <sighs> so don't get why she wouldn't tell me. Like I said, she wouldn't want to worry you. <sighs> Guess you're right. Exactly. So, please don't beat yourself up about this. Because it's not your fault. It's nothing to do with you. Okay, it's probably just some stress or something. I mean, we do have, like, exams coming up in, like, a few weeks, so it's probably that. Yeah. Okay, so I have some good news. Yeah. So, she's fine. Perfectly fine. Um, she was just low on sugar. Low on sugar? Yes. It was totally a thing. Maybe she was... I don't know. Not eating enough? Because she was low on blood sugar. Low on blood sugar? So were you trying to say to us that she was starving herself? I wouldn't suggest that, but... If that is the case, that she is purposely starving herself, or being forced to starve herself, then I would have to contact the authorities. That wouldn't be necessary. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Positive. Thank you. Well, um, you're welcome to go see her if you'd like. Um, thank you. Uh, Eddie. Can you just, like, give us some time? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Oh my god, sweetheart, I'm so glad you're okay. You had me so worried. God, if you would have died, I would have killed myself, honestly. Don't scare me like that, okay? What's going on with you? Low on blood sugar listener. I thought we talked about this. You aren't gonna do this yourself anymore. Listener. Baby. Listen to me. You don't need to starve yourself, okay? You're perfect in every way possible. And I'll be there to support you through your hard times, whatever it is, okay? I'll always be here for you, loving you and caring for you. So what if you've gained weight? I don't care about that. I only care about your health and you as a person, not you as in your figure or your appearance. I fell in love with you, the real you. The sweet, caring girl that everyone loves. That's who I fell in love with. Not for your body or for your looks. I mean, like, kind of for your looks, because you're literally so hot, but you know. <laughs> I love you for you. Nothing else, okay? I don't want you to any... I don't want you to think any less of yourself. 
you're perfect for me, okay? Don't need to be like one of those cheerleaders or whatever. Ew. <laughs> what? Sorry. It's true, though. Okay? <sighs> Got her, okay. Hey, listener. How are you doing? Look. You know, she's kind of right. You don't need to be starving yourself again. This has already happened before, and it's happening again and again and again. This even happened when we were 10. We were 10. Listener, this isn't good for you. You can't keep doing this to yourself. You can't keep putting yourself low on sugar. You need that in your body. I know I don't put the effort in because you're too lazy to work out and whatnot, but it's not the point. Who gives a fuck if you gain weight or if you're chubby or whatever? You're fucking perfect. And as your best friend, I'd know that. Come on, I've known you for years. Always be your best friend. And I would never, ever ditch you if you gained weight. Ever. Bitch, I'm about to carry you in your casket, even if you gain like 300 pounds, I carry you. <laughs> Come on, you're being ridiculous. You're stunning, okay? Always look out for you. You can tell me anything. And Eddie. We're your boys. I got your back. Well, him as your boyfriend made your best friend. Me more, because... I'm the best out of both of us. Excuse you? Well, I am, and we both know it. <laughs> but seriously, if you ever need anything, tell us. Talk to us. Please. He's right. Just please talk to us. We want to be here for you. Yeah. Well, um, I probably need to go back to math class. Um,. Is like what 20 minutes till period like what what is it it's fourth period fourth period is over you need to get home you need to take a chill pill and i'll see you later okay feel better love you feel better yeah fuck you too see you Eddie. bye steve kissed you on the forehead and walked back to math class Eddie then picked you up and carried you to his van and took you home. You guys were cuddling until you fell asleep. How in the Jesus baloney fuck has this video been 18 minutes? What did I do to make this video 18 goddamn minutes? What did I do? Like, someone- what did I do? Anyway, um, so, yarf. So, that's that video. Not gonna lie, that was kind of fun. I- I like that. That was a great video. Probably not my favorite, but I, I like to film it. It was kind of fun. Um, so let me know what else you want from me. ASMR. Um, so yeah, let me know what else you got from me. I'm free for the next six weeks, bitch. But I am going to my grandma's because we're meant to be moving house. But we're not the moving house. We're going to live with my grandma for a little bit until we actually find some fucking place. Because they've kicked us out now. Well, I'm still in my house currently, but like... Yeah, I'm going to with my grandmas. Yeah, anyway. And I love her house so much. It's the best place ever. It's like, it's amazing. And she has a cat. I fucking love cats. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll see ya in the next video, which will be posted later to die. I need to start packing, actually, because I haven't actually started that. Shit! But yeah, I love you. I'm a little quad dinglers. Mm -hmm.